Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. Boa intelligence, that's the topic for today's video. Are some boa smarter than others? And how do you, exactly do you estimate the intelligence of a boa? So today I'm gonna go over the smartest snakes based on internet polling. I'm gonna discuss how I arrive at what I feel are the smartest of boas. And then I'm gonna show you examples of specific types of locality boas that I feel are the smartest, like this guy. I'm even going to go over what I feel is the smartest locality boa of them all, so be sure to stay tuned for that. But first of all, if you're new here and you want to learn all about keeping and breeding boas in captivity, be sure to hit the subscribe button. It really helps me the success of this channel on YouTube, and I greatly appreciate your support. So intelligence in boas. This is somewhat of a difficult topic because it's somewhat subjective. There's no easy way to estimate the intelligence of a boa. We don't have IQ tests for boas. It's not like you can just have them take a multiple choice test and spit out a number like humans. So with boas, uh, you also can't do training. I mean, boas in general don't do tricks. They don't obey commands. If you have a boa that does tricks, I'd love to hear about it. So please, you know, tell me ASAP. That would be amazing. But most boas don't do any kinds of commands. They just do their standard behaviors, which can change over time, but they're not gonna like jump through hoops or sit or fetch or anything like that. With dogs, it's quite easy to estimate the intelligence of different dog breeds just by how fast they can master commands. And I, pretty much any dog breeder would agree that border collies and poodles are in general smarter than Afghan hounds and bulldogs. So no offense if you love Afghan hounds and bulldogs, they're great dogs. But anyway, we can't just measure the commands of a boa and how fast they learn it to estimate its intelligence. So we have to look at their behaviors and we have to infer that some are going to be smarter than others based on their behaviors. One key thing to look for when estimating a boa's intelligence is whether they demonstrate awareness. And by awareness, I mean that they recognize their surroundings, they're aware of what's going on, they can anticipate things happening. For example, some boas seem to be able to anticipate feeding, and they're gonna react a little bit differently when you approach them with food versus when you approach them to handle. A lot of boas, they're just gonna, they think you're, you're gonna, they're gonna be fed and they just go wham at your hand. But some boas seem to know the difference between when you're approaching to handle them and when you're approaching to feed them. Alertness is another uh, demonstrator of intelligence. Some snakes and some boas are actually seem to be aware of the owners and they actually follow the owners by looking at them. It's a little bit freaky. Some boas just don't really follow you with their eyes. They're just kind of there and some snakes in general, but some boas and other snakes do seem to track their owners with their eyes, which demonstrates an awareness and thus a level of intelligence. Another characteristic of intelligence is that snakes that are intelligent will tend to act less aggressive over time. So they realize they don't need to act aggressively because you're not a threat when you're coming to handle them and they'll calm down over time. And in fact, boas and snakes in general, as we've been captive breeding them generation after generation, they're getting much calmer overall, which is possibly due to selection for more intelligent snakes generation after generation. And it kind of makes sense because in general, a boa that's smarter than another boa is more likely to make a good pet. And ultimately we want good pets that we can take out and handle and interact with. And one of the main criteria that I used was just my own experience of interacting with the boa. How much is it enjoyable to handle? How much does it react appropriately when I take it out as far as a good handling session? And this guy, as you can see, this is a Paraguana Peninsula boa, which is on my list. But this guy is just uh, acting very calm, just kind of hanging out. He's holding on firmly, but not too tightly. Um, it's an enjoyable experience. He's not trying to get away. So this is behaviors which I would consider demonstrate that a boa is intelligent. So we'll say more about the most intelligent boas in a minute. I just wanted to go over the most intelligent snakes because there are other snakes out there which may be even smarter than boas. And based on an internet search, uh, it seems like the consensus is that the king cobra is the Einstein of serpents. And these animals 
um, have a very high level of recognition of owners. They, they track movements, they follow people, they learn, they drink out of water bottles, they do all kinds of cool stuff. Of course, I'm in no way recommending you get a king cobra or any venomous snake as a pet. Please don't do this. It's probably illegal where you live and it's highly dangerous. That being said, many other venomous snakes also seem to be quite intelligent, including boom slong and rattlesnakes, to name a few. And there are many anecdotal examples of these animals demonstrating intelligent behaviors. So when it comes to non-venomous snakes, there's some others which are said to be highly intelligent, although boas in general are, seem to be high on the list according to public opinion. But these include many pythons, like reticulated pythons and Burmese pythons, and indigo snakes are also said to be highly intelligent, maybe the most intelligent of the colubrid snakes. So those are also some cool animals to consider if you want an intelligent snake pet, although many of these, like the retic, have some obvious drawbacks like the large size. One thing that's pretty clear though, is that compared to another very popular pet snake, boas are gonna take the crown as far as which of the two is more intelligent. And if you haven't figured it out, I'm referring to the ball python. So ball pythons are known for not really doing much. They're derogatorily referred to as pet rocks because a lot of time they just kind of sit there and they're not said to be very intelligent animals. Whereas boas, because of their higher level of interaction, are considered by most people to be more intelligent. And, and I think this is kind of unfair because this is based on our, our definition of intelligent and what we find uh, intelligent in animals. And of course, ball pythons have survived in the wild every bit as well as boas. So they demonstrate behaviors that are uh, appropriate for their particular situation. And you know, maybe it's unfair to label them as not very intelligent. You know, a lot of what we consider intelligent in our snakes is just our anthropomorphization of our own qualities onto the reptiles. A lot of it is even projecting. We're seeing things that may not be there. You know, but this isn't a channel about psychology, it's about herpetology, so we'll stick to the snakes. So with that in mind, without further ado, I'm going to count down my list of the most intelligent boas. The first boa on my list of the most intelligent boas is this one. This is a Branchia columbia boa imperator. And I would extend this not just to the Branchia locality, but pretty much any Colombian boa imperator, in my mind, is a very intelligent boa. And it comes down to the interaction with the handler. These guys are just usually very, very calm. They're very interactive. They move around, but not too much to escape. And it's just really a pleasure to handle these animals. So they demonstrate a level of awareness that I don't see in some other boas. And so you might say, well, how do these guys stack up against the true red tails? Since these are what are known as pet store red tails or Colombian red tails, and they're put down as not being the true red tails by many pet keepers. I would say these guys are smarter than the true red tails as a whole, you know, comparing the two groups. And of course there are very many individual uh, uh, exceptions, which we'll see in a minute. But these animals just seem much calmer than the true rat tails. They're much more enjoyable to handle. This is why I recommend these guys as the number one snake pet, or boa pet rather, for the majority of boa keepers, especially the first time boa owners. You just can't beat a Colombian boa imperator. So although I don't have a obje an objective way of proving 100% that this is one of the most intelligent boas, I would be shocked if this wasn't one of, you know, top on the list, certainly among the top five or so as far as boa intelligence. The Colombian boa imperator, this is a Branchia Colombia locality boa. Next on the list of the most intelligent boas, we have this one. This is a Paraguana Peninsula boa from Venezuela. This is the wild type or normal color morph. You may recall I showed an anorithristic Paraguana Peninsula boa in the first scenes of this video, but these guys I also consider to be one of the most intelligent boas based on the interaction that I get when I handle them. They're really calm. They don't try to escape. They just kind of look around calmly. It's really a pleasure taking these guys out. They're just such great pet boas. Unfortunately, they're really hard to come by and I haven't been successful breeding them yet, but I'm trying and you know, I really wish there were more of these guys available for pet keepers since they're such a great boa. In many regards, these guys are similar to the Barankia boas. They have a similar body shape, 
They have a similar personality. Um, just great, great pet animals, beautiful to look at. So it may be because um, they have a similar overall characteristics that I've labeled them intelligent. And remember, this is a somewhat subjective evaluation. You know, I'm basing the uh, criteria of intelligence on these characteristics. And maybe because these guys just act very similar to, similarly to the branchia, I'm just calling them both intelligent. And then it's also interesting when you look at the range of these animals in the wild. These are from northwestern Venezuela, the Paraguana Peninsula. It's not that far from the range of the branchia columbia boa. And what's really interesting is that these guys are kind of mid... Um, they're between the range of boa imperator and boa constrictor, constrictor in the wild. So it's possible that the ancestors of these animals have gene genetic contributions from both populations. So maybe that's why they're more intelligent. And I know I'm really going out on a limb here, but it is kind of interesting to speculate. Regardless, these guys are definitely on the list of the most intelligent boas, the Paraguana Peninsula boa from Venezuela. As I mentioned, I believe that the Colombian boa imperator is, as a group, smarter than the true red tails boa boa constrictor constrictor but is there a bcc that might be a little more intelligent on the whole than other types and you know i've kept about half a dozen different localities of true red tail boa i've seen a lot of boa behavior and i'd have to say if it comes down to one true red tail that is the smartest it would be this one the venezuelan red tail boa and so this is a beautiful female she's about uh five years old right now um this is, she's from the Rio Bravo bloodline bred by my buddy, Mike Lucchese. And these animals are just uh, very enjoyable to handle. And they show a lot of the same types of behaviors that I talked about for the Branchia and the Paraguana Peninsula Boa. You know, not coincidentally, they're also from Venezuela, not that far geographically from the Paraguana Peninsula Boa. And as you can see, they're just really calm to handle, really mellow. They seem to, you know, be aware of their surroundings and interact with the keeper. Just a great type of red tail to work with. Um, just really enjoy these guys, and I would be surprised if they aren't the smartest of the true red tails. And again, we don't really have any way of, of uh, objectively quantifying this. This is just based on my overall impressions. This one I might be breeding this season. Haven't decided yet for sure, but she has reached breeding size. They, as you can see, they're a little bit smaller than most other two red tails. This girl's probably about uh, six feet or so. But just a really nice, beautiful looking boa. And very smart as well, the Venezuela true red tail boa. So far in this video, my comments on boa intelligence have been for types of boas as a whole. So groups of boas, a specific locality boa. But are there individual boas in a given locality that are smarter than others? And I would say absolutely. Of course, not every uh, you know, animal and that smartest type of animal is going to be one of the smartest ones. Conversely, there might be individual snakes and a type of snake that's not known to be intelligent that are really smart, maybe even a ball python. So this is a snake that I feel is one of my smartest snakes. This is a Suriname red tail. And although I would say as a whole, the Venezuelan red tails I find to be more intelligent or they seem more intelligent to me than the Surinams, this animal just seems extremely intelligent just based on his behavior and his interaction. So this guy is a relatively new addition to the collection. He is a uh, 2019 male baby bred by Brian, Ab Brian Abramson from Florida Red Tails and Two to Hope Bloodlines. He's just a beautiful looking animal, but he's just so chill and so mellow and you know when i take him out he kind of looks around and makes eye contact with me and just kind of flicks out his tongue inquisitively i just can't help but think that there's something going on in this little head so just a great boa you know some of my other surnames when i take them out they might kind of thrash around not not because they're being aggressive but because they're trying to hold on and they might squeeze really tightly so this guy holds on but not too tight you know it seems like it's appropriate the level of squeezing, you know, as far as a uh, optimal handling experience. In addition, when I go to this guy's enclosure, he kind of looks up and he almost seems to behave differently when I have a rodent versus when I'm going to handle him. So I have to think that maybe he's anticipating that I'm going to handle him. Don't know for sure, 
you know, but uh, his behavior would suggest that maybe something like that's going on. You know, so with any, any, every given uh, group of boa, there's obviously going to be some that are going to be smarter than others. And I would say this particular Suriname red tail is one of my smartest boas. I saved the best for last. So this is what I consider to be the smartest type of boa. This is a Bolivian boa, boa constrictor amaralli. And so this is based on my own experiences with them, as well as talking to several boa keepers who are quite experienced with lots of different types of locality boas. And many of them identify the Bolivian boa as the most intelligent boa. So I based the estimate of the intelligence of these guys on watching their behaviors. And they just seem to definitely have a higher level of awareness and interaction than my other boas. In fact, sometimes when I open up the enclosure of this guy, he actually comes out and kind of raises his head up, holds his head kind of level to mine, and almost looks at me right in the eye as though he's expecting me to come and take him out. This guy also seems to know when I am coming with food versus when I'm coming to handle him. It's almost a little bit freaky how much he is able to anticipate my behaviors. So I would say that this guy definitely demonstrates some signs indicating that he probably is a highly intelligent animal. Uh, interestingly, when I handle him, he's not quite as calm as some of my other boas that I showed you who I feel is are intelligent. He just seems like he wants to explore and look around and just a really curious animal. But, you know, definitely what I would consider to be showing signs of intelligence, at least as far as what a boa is capable of. And as I mentioned, many boa keepers who have kept these have told me about experiences they've had that uh, tell them that their boas are aware of their owners and they're aware of interacting with them and they're able to anticipate these types of interactions. So definitely one of the smartest boas, the Bolivian boa, boa constrictor amaralli. So that was my somewhat non-scientific and subjective list of what I consider to be the most intelligent boas. Hope you guys enjoyed this and maybe learned a few things. I'd love to hear your experiences, what you consider the most intelligent boa or snake in general. Maybe if you have any anecdotes you wanna share in the comments about things you've seen, that would be great, very uh, useful for the viewership. I hope you enjoyed it. Shoot me any questions or comments you might have. And remember, enjoy your boas, the smart ones, as well as the average or below average intelligence ones.